So, you like the idea of being a homeowner but also consider yourself a minimalist? You might be the perfect candidate for a tiny house. These tiny abodes not only make it possible for more people to afford home ownership, but if you stick some wheels on them, they become a way to travel around the world. Be it a vacation getaway, a guest house, or just home, we think tiny houses are here to stay. Feast your eyes on these incredible tiny houses for your dream home inspiration. The Fox House Emily and Sloan Southard's backyard guest house gives every tree house a run for its money with a unique structure and adorable decor. Inspired by Sloan's window restoration business, the standard stash, the two used leftover windows to give the house its open feel and access to natural light. At just 100 square feet, this luxurious Nashville hotspot is more than just a bedroom. Labeled the Fox House after a poem by Wendell Berry, the home also features a living room and office area for those in need of a quiet workspace. Bestie Row Retirement homes aren't for everyone, and some people just want to get away from it all. That was the case for Fred and Jody Zip, who purchased a piece of property in no man's land an hour and a half from Austin, Texas. The area might be deserted, but the couple is far from lonely because three other tiny houses sit on the property, housing three other couples, aka their besties. While they chose minimalism for the sleeping cabins, which were given the suitable name Bestie Row, a 1,500-foot common area was held to a higher standard. Built for entertaining as well as cooking, the common area holds commercial-sized cooking utilities, a dining area, and a living room. Then, of course, for those days too nice to eat indoors, they have a picnic area, complete with a big green egg, where a cold drink and a great view are the ideal finish to any day. The Pequod if there was ever a tiny house that made you wonder how they found room for it all, it's the Pequod. Set on wheels and ready to go on a moment's notice, this tiny home was built by Rocky Mountain Tiny Houses for a family of four. At just 26 feet long and 8 to 6 feet wide, this whimsical home would cost roughly $80,000. Not bad, right? Besides two lofted areas for the family to sleep in, the Pequod also comes with a huge closet, a washer and dryer, as well as composting toilet. The stairs leading up to each loft hold storage, and a tucked away ottoman and bench save space in between mealtimes. For those days when the small space might feel just a tad too tight, a wraparound deck provides plenty of room to stretch those legs. The Bird's Nest Featured on FYI's Tiny House Nation, The Perch, designed by Kim Lewis, was created for homeowners who dedicated their lives to preserving wildlife, specifically exotic birds. The exterior is made of several different found materials, all thrown together much like a bird's nest, giving the home its second nickname, The Bird's Nest. A rustic interior mostly made from found objects continues the birdhouse theme, with wood floors and countertops. The walls are all lined with false tile and brick panels, the roof is made of salvaged metal tiles, and even the fabric used to make the sofa cushions was made of discontinued cloth swatches. A lofted bedroom allows more room for the homeowners to kick back in their living room and enjoy the view from a large mosaic of windows. The Oceanside Retreat the Oceanside Retreat is the ideal vacation spot. With so many windows, staying there must feel like the house is floating on the ocean. What this tiny home is lacking in size, it's made up for in gorgeous views and modern decor. Unlike most tiny houses, this oceanfront property has a full-sized kitchen and luxurious bathroom. A kitchen island and two stools save space while also providing a place to sit down at a table for a meal. The living room is super cozy, with an electric fireplace and lounge chairs, making it the perfect getaway spot even in the winter. The Chateau Bathtub Foy and Louisa Brown certainly know how to live, as the couple's off-the-grid floating home provides them with a daily routine to envy. According to Maine Home & Design, Chateau Bathtub is a 240-square-foot house that gives the Browns non-stop island views and 24-hour access to nature. The space is large enough for both a table for four and a kitchen island, as well as a full kitchen. An outdoor patio allows them to sit back with a cold one in their Adirondack chairs and is also the location of Louisa's flower garden and their outdoor shower. The couple confess that the only bad part about their tiny floating home is having to close it up each fall as it gets too cold to live on the water. The Pacifica just one of the many tiny homes in the Caravan Tiny House Hotel community in Portland, Oregon, the Pacifica is one of the newest accommodations on the property and can comfortably fit up to four guests. 
Designed to be wheelchair accessible, this tiny house has a roll-in shower and a bed on the first floor. Additionally, there's a second bed in the loft area that provides some privacy from those sleeping below. Talavera countertops and custom stained glass windows are just a few of the elements that give this mobile home its colorful decor. Priced at $165 per night, the Pacifica provides internet access, air conditioning, a refrigerator, and hot plate. Of course, there's the option to make some new friends over a large fire and some s'mores under the Portland stars. The School Bus Loft This artsy, self-employed couple started their own YouTube page to tell of their tiny house adventure. Felix Stark and Salima Taibi purchased a school bus to transform it into their very own loft on wheels while driving across the country. This mobile home is nothing short of stunning, with wood floors and countertops accented with white cabinets. The kitchen is larger than those found in most New York City apartments, with a full-size stove and a collapsible dinner table. Life on the road has allowed this couple and their dog to travel across America, to Canada, all the way to Alaska. Now they're heading south, back through the U.S. and down to Central America. What a life! The Famous Spite House According to the Daily Mail, this 430-foot square home was reportedly built after a divorce couple were forced to split ownership of their original property. According to the story, allegedly a judge awarded the husband the house and the wife the front yard, so out of spite she built the tiny home on top of her front yard to block out light and access to her husband's property. From the front, the house looks like any other. However, it's incredibly narrow throughout, with just enough room for a foyer, living room, kitchen, bathroom, and master bedroom. Regardless of whether the rumors behind this home hold any truth, it's become one of the most famous tiny homes on the market. Thanks for watching. Click on the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.